Hello everyone, this is Donna's Whimsical Treasures and today I want to share with you an acetate tote, uh, I would say an acetate gift bag and I got the idea from Christiane's Crafty Adventures. I used the paper from my mind's eyes, the lost and found, I think it's called sweet bouquet paper and uh, on one side it is this paper and on the other side, it is this paper. So it's a two-sided paper you buy by, by pieces in Hobby Lobby, if you're interested in the paper. And this was easy to assemble. And what it is is a little tote. And as you can tell, it acetate. I used the decorative acetate that I purchased in Hobby Lobby. There you can see it better. And the paper is two-sided, so I have the flowers on one side and these pretty little squares on the other. I sewed the handles with gold thread. I decorated the front of the tote with some pearls on the bottom for flowers. I have three fabric flowers with some uh, bling from uh, Prima. Uh, I got a little bottle from the Dollar Tree and I filled it up with sequins and I made this little cabbage on and this little heart I added it on and it hangs and it dangles right there in the center. Over here I have a puppy heart and a flower. I made this embellishment. It's actually a button and then I used some of uh, some bling that I purchased from um, I'm trying to remember the internet store. Uh, stamping scra scrapping stampers and then I made a double bow and this trim like that you can get in Joanne's or Michael's and probably Hobby Lobby too and then I put this other trim up here and some heart some roast cabochons over here seam binding double bow a little bling over there in the center and it came together pretty easy and then just inside to give an idea, you do fit a rosette. I put a couple of things in there. I I got the little jars from Dollar Tree. I think it's six or eight of them. Um, I put sequins inside and some seam binding, a little bling on it. And it fits very nicely inside there. And I made a flower uh, with a little heart on it. And just so you can see, if you know... A little bit about jewelry making I don't know much but I know that looked nice so there we went <laughs> with that and it's a foam heart so that all fits nice and comfortable inside of it this is the first one which I like a lot and then I made a second one and this one I used Maggie Holmes ephemera here and here and that little pinwheel also is Maggie Holmes. This is Havana collection from Prima and I put a little B which is a puffy heart and I use this little gold uh, bow and that comes from the paper paper studios and the love also comes from the Havana collection and what I do is highlight it with a little bit of gold stickles. I have threading throughout on this one also flowers that I got in Hobby Lobby. Um, this is all Maggie Holmes and Maggie Holmes and Maggie Holmes. That too and that and that little flower too. And then I just put a three or four bow thread over here on this side. I made this little candy charm and a little uh, button here. Uh, more little goodies throughout, scattered throughout to highlight the front of the purse the side and the back have this pretty fringed trim and small flat backs this is a three millimeter flat back i think it came out really cute the inside looks really nice also and then i just put some bookmarks that i worked on for an activity for church and so they are in spanish but you can use this same idea for whatever you want. And uh, I'm trying to remember the die. The die is from AliExpress. And I made this little tag for the, this little, sorry, not tag, this little uh, 
the words running out of my mind, but you know what it is. I made this little thing to hang in the back, so I figured it's in your book like this, and this will hang to the back, and it'll look really pretty. And then this little bead, some seam binding here up the top, and there's some glitters inside the, the plastic. And on this one, I made this other little charm, and I think they look really nice. And this one came with the heart, and it has the little stitch design, which is really pretty. You can find that on AliExpress also. Let me know what you think. I hope you liked my little totes. There is uh, a tutorial on the Christiana's. I'm looking for it again. What her website is. Christiana's Crafty Adventures. So if you're interested in making one, go over to her channel and you'll see a tutorial on how to put this together. It's pretty easy and a lot of fun. Have a great day, everybody, and be safe. Bye.